Hello everyone, welcome back to my Additional Max channel. For today's video teaching lesson, I will focus on the basic skills of differentiation and also the limit. So I will use the power rule and also chain rule to solve the differentiation problem and I will discuss with you how to do the limit. So let's get started with the class. Hello guys, today I will discuss a few questions on differentiation. So let's say this question come out in your exam. So how are you going to solve this question? So the question say find dy dx for y equal to 2x squared minus x plus 1 by first principle. So the keyword is by first principle. So that means you cannot just uh, do like this. You cannot just say okay dy dx is equal to 4x minus 1. No. This is using formula. Okay, now the question say using the first principle. Okay, I have actually uh, created a video on the first principle. So now I actually want to use the actual the a way to do the first principle. The way to memorize is I write like this, right? Love shape minus fx over the love shape. And also, I reminded you that love shape is actually small changes of the x. So for today, we will try not to use the love shape. We use a delta x. So remember, delta x is not two letters. It's not delta and x. Delta is small changes. So understand? So now I'm going to use a real formula, which is actually... The real formula is, um, the actual formula should be like this, okay? I make it simplified so that uh, you easy for you to memorize. It should be come with a limit, okay? And delta x approaches 0, this is delta x, this is delta x, alright? Understand? So, okay, so uh, I write the actual formula for you. So, dy dx is actually equal to limit the way to do properly in exam this should be the way you have to write f x plus delta x minus f x over delta x remember delta x is one one letter all right it represents one letter small changes okay now uh, we want to do it seriously no love shape so now I'm going to write like this. So my dy dx, I write as small as possible because I need to squeeze in everything in a sentence. So I will write 2x plus delta x square, alright, from here, minus x plus delta x plus 1, right? Then minus, okay, fx is uh, the whole thing of the y, which is 2x squared minus x plus 1 over delta x. Be careful, huh? you need to be very careful, right? So now, we are going to solve it carefully. So let's expand carefully. So dy dx, can see or not? is equal to so 2x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x square right so okay i have to use a bracket minus x minus delta x plus 1 minus 2x square plus x minus 1 right be careful with the negative Okay, so minus 2x squared, double check, plus x minus 1 over the delta x, right? Can you see? You must divide by delta x. 
so now I'm going to divide by delta x okay so now you need to be very careful you have 2x square plus 4x delta x plus 2 delta x square all right minus uh, minus x minus delta x plus 1 right then minus 2x square then plus x then minus 1 over delta x so be very careful because you uh, got so many terms for you to solve now we try to cancel out the one that like term with the opposite sign so we can cancel out this thing right can see or not i make it thicker this thing cancel out this one negative positive cancel out plus one minus one cancel out right so balance uh okay let's list out the balance okay the balance should have 4x delta x plus 2 delta x which actually just now i say love shape okay and then minus out delta x right okay don't forget you must divide by delta x all right so now we divide like this 2x uh okay uh we have two we have uh okay now i'm going to show you the delta x is actually one representing one letter so i use a delta x here this one is delta x square this is minus delta x right okay so now i'm going to divide by delta x so actually you have to divide one by one so if you divide by one by one that means you can cancel out this thing like this this one cancel this one cancel one this one cancel left one right so finally you will get the answer okay let me write here you get 4x right this thing you will get 2 delta x right minus 1 right minus 1 this is 1 all right okay so okay when the when we apply the limit okay i don't have the space we have to apply the limit before we find the dy dx so i'm going to show you how i apply the limit delta x approaches zero that means this thing will be zero off so finally you only left the answer which is 4x this one sorry is a minus one there is a minus there here minus okay so need to be very careful so 4x minus one is the answer so after you use the uh formula then you have to apply the limit when delta x approaches zero so the final answer is 4x minus one and we can always check if you differentiate you will get 4x minus one but this is using the formula we cannot use a formula this one is using formula okay using first principle you must follow the way i show you all right you have to do like this use this one and then you have to apply the limit when delta x approaches zero okay so finally you get the answer for x minus one using the first principle all right so i finished uh, discussing the first principle so let's see the next question okay the next question i would like to discuss is this one uh, this is actually the product rule right so you have two rule that you must know when you have two function multiply function u times v so you have to use u d v d x plus v d u d x okay so this is so called product rule okay another one is quotient rule quotient rule is when you have two function divide by each other Okay, example you have a function u divided by a function v okay so what you need to do is v du dx minus u du dx then over the v square this is v square all right this is called quotient rule when you have the fraction 
involving two function divided by each other okay so i'm going to uh, start with the first one which is product rule okay so i'm going to show right so the way to do is like this remember i teach you the shortcut in ood remember dood what is dood it means that okay i'm going to explain to you right it means that this one you differentiate so we write a big d okay this one is differentiate okay this one don't do this one differentiate plus this one you o means you don't do and you differentiate this thing all right so now that is how you do you don't have to memorize the formula just memorize the d o o d all right so dy dx is equal to when i differentiate 3x square i will get 2 times 3 6x 1 right okay this one don't do copy all right then this one just now you differentiate 3x square already, right so now you don't differentiate so that means each term got one uh, one turn to be differentiate so 3x square you don't differentiate because you differentiated already now you differentiate this thing all right which is actually you have to use the you have to use the chain rule that i just taught you in my previous video so i'm going to differentiate this one i will take 4 then times 2x minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 right don't forget you have to differentiate inside the bracket here which is 2 right 2x minus 1 differentiate 2 x you get 2 differentiate minus 1 you get 0 so that means you just get 2 if you differentiate the bracket right all right now we have settled already this is a, this is a product rule so you just plus okay now i want you to write properly like this all right and then we simplify 4 3 12 x square no 8 times 3 24 right so we times all the number 3 x square okay 24 x square 2 x minus 1 power 3 right okay now i need to teach you how to simplify to the beautiful uh, simplest form so you see ah, uh, so you have common factor 6 got x got 2 x now for this one i see this one power 3 so i want to make it common factor so i have to do like that okay this one i write 6 and then i write 4 i write x all right then okay uh, x square 2x minus 1 to the power of 3 right okay now let's see how to factorize so i'm going to factorize this thing a common factor right so i have to factorize the x so here got x x times x right so i have to factorize one x i have to factorize six six are the common factor that means i need to take out six x and two x minus one power three and how to get the balance in the bracket very easy i want to teach you how to get the balance is you imagine that that is you take the this whole thing divide by this thing all right so you just cancel cut 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 okay balance is what 2x minus 2x minus 1 power 1 right power 1 we don't write 6 cancel 1x cancel so, so there's a plus so you have x right and then this thing you factorize so you divide it that means you divided 6 divided x divided x 2x minus 1 power 3 so the balance is just uh, uh we have 4 right we have 4x don't forget there is a 4 okay so finally the answer that you should write must be 6 okay let's write properly the answer should be 6x 2x minus 1 power 3 okay 4x and 2x will be 6x minus 1 
okay this is so called the most simplest answer all right double check because we tend to make careless mistake so that is the final answer that you supposed to write 6x 2x minus 1 power 3 and then 6x minus 1 is the final answer okay final answer must be simplest form all right clear okay so uh, maybe i write again here final answer is 6x 2x minus 1 power 3 6x minus 1 right so this is the final answer for this question all right so this is actually a question involving two function multiply by each other and you have to plus when when you differentiate you have to differentiate okay rotationally okay rotate them so we use a short form which is the short form that i teach you is d o o d you need to practice until you are expert all right okay if not you don't understand what it means by d o o d right okay i'm going to show you another one which is okay let's do it together for this one okay let's do it one shot okay let me show you okay i'm going to write dy dx is equal to okay let me copy down 4x cubed then 3x plus 5 to the power of 3 then plus okay uh, then 4x 3 then this one is 3x plus 5 power 3 you just copy down okay then you just apply the formula that i teach you okay the formula that i teach you is do 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 the o o d do okay let me show you so now i'm going to differentiate d o o d so this one is d right so i'm differentiate this one this one i don't do okay then plus the there o this one don't do and this one i differentiate okay now dy dx is equal to differentiate this one is 3 times 4 is 12x square and this one i just copy right okay and then this one i will have to write 4x power 3 and then uh, this is a chain rule okay the 3 go in front 3x plus 5 power 2 then don't forget differentiate inside the bracket so now i need to teach you how to simplify to the simplest form so how to write okay let's see the common factor we have 4 so here i write 4 3 okay uh, we have x cube x square so i write x square here we have 3 x uh, plus 5 power 2 so we actually uh, make it like this same base right 1 then here i have 4 here i got 4 and i have square x square and uh, 3 oh so, that, so the 3 can be taken out then this thing still got 3 okay we have 3 we have 3 again then 3x plus 5 to the power of 2 okay now i'm going to factorize okay now let's see okay i can take out the common factor which is uh, i have 4 i have 3 i have x square i have this thing i have 4 i have x square i have 3 i have this thing right so i can take out okay let me write down i can take out 4 x square okay 4 and 3 we write uh, 12 okay so i can write as 12 right x square 3x plus 5 to the power of 2 so the balance remaining will be this thing 
will be 3x plus 5 power 1 right and then here I have one more 3x right 3x alright because this is x cube okay clear so finally okay finally uh, you you can simplify to the simplest form it become uh, 12x square 3x plus 5 square and then here should be 3 3 will be 6x plus 5 that is the simplest answer right clear understand okay all right okay i do again so that you are aware what am i doing so okay let me show you again so i'm going to take out the four i'm take out three i'm going to take out x square i'm going to take out three x plus five power two so the balance the remaining i will actually put inside them so i'm going to put inside the bracket like this so i have 3x plus 5 right plus 4 4 i took took out already x squared 3 took out all this took out already balance will be 3 right just 3 only right uh that is a, a x cube right so this is x cube so i still have one x here so 3x be careful okay so it's 12x square 3x plus 5 square and then 6x plus 3 so this is the final answer so this is the final answer that i work out carefully i hope no mistake Alright, so today I'm going to teach you how to use the formula for product rule. So as you see, for product rule is actually two function multiplied by each other. So example, we have function uh, like this, u and function v. Okay, so you have u times v, the u times v, meaning what? Meaning that this function is u okay this is a u the 2x is a u this is a u i'm going to highlight to you this is the u and this is the v okay it's multiply so the formula you have a formula but i think i can write the formula formula for you d or the x is equal to u times dv dx plus v times du dx so it's a plus okay when multiply okay when multiply is a plus remember that okay it's just like your uh, logarithm when multiply you plus right so this is plus okay so this is plus multiply so now it means that when we differentiate we're going to differentiate now so I'm going to teach you the shortcut that I actually discussed in my video. I've shown you the video how to how to do a product rule, right? So we use a D O O D, right? Okay, what is D? What is O? What's D? So I'm going to show you again. So now Y is actually given to X and then times six X minus one to the power of four. So you want to do the the X, right? So now you copy down everything twice. 2x, then 6x minus 1, 4, and then you plus. Okay, then here will be 2x. Copy everything exactly. Okay, then here you give some space because you need to label which one need to be differentiate. So I'm going to teach you this way. So this one you differentiate okay let me use a red pen okay you differentiate this one the u it's okay you can use this this one come first this one go behind because it's a plus 
okay so I'm going to differentiate the du dx first then times the v and then I plus okay this one I do this one I don't do followed by this one I don't do and this one I differentiate so I write d dx alright so that is how you uh, do first step is you copy down and you label which one need to be differentiate alright so now we are going to differentiate okay if I differentiate 2x I will get 2 right a number with the x always get back the number differentiate 3x you get 3 differentiate ks you get k okay this thing no need to differentiate just copy all right copy like this okay so now this one uh, you have differentiated already uh, 2x so you don't differentiate all right that means each terms only got one chance to be differentiated now you differentiate this one so this is a chain rule remember four okay uh, you don't do you have to copy down uh. that means this thing 2x you have to copy down first okay let me copy down first okay i'm going to copy down 2x then i will differentiate 4 then 6x minus 1 power 3 then i differentiate in the bracket 6 okay that's how you do okay after you differentiate you must simplify your answer okay so now let's clean up our fraction our algebra so that it looks beautiful so how to make it a nice simplest form is you study the lowest is power 3 right so this one you have to make it 6x power 1 3 and then 6x you have to factor right like this same base right you plus 3 plus 1 is 4 but because you want to factor right this thing you have to have common factor right so i need to have 2 2 so okay 2 i can take out ready right and then i have uh, all right so i think that's all so i copy back i have 2x here here is 4 times 6 24 24 6x minus 1 to the power of 3 now i'm going to highlight to you uh, the common factor that i'm going to factorize okay so i use a red pen so i'm going to factorize two out uh, this thing out okay two and this thing out right these are the common factor two six x minus one power three then how about the balance the balance is like this you just okay the balance is like this two six x minus one alright so balance is you see you can just cut like this it means divided so balance 6x minus 1 okay so this whole thing you have to divide by this thing so you can cut 2 you can cut this thing so left only 24x right okay 24 times x don't uh, miss out the x okay finally finally your answer is actually Two, then you have to write six x minus one power three. Simplify six plus twenty four is thirty x minus one. Right? Is there any mistake? Double check. Okay, double check carefully. All right. So many students actually uh, always start here. Many students always start here this step because they are not sure how to factorize like this. Okay, so you learn you learn how to factorize a common factor so that you can make a nice and simplest terms all right okay so this is the answer for product rule now I'm going to show you another one okay for this one is actually quotient rule so for quotient rule we have actually uh, u over v right so this one so I'm going to show you this one so this is u over v it means that two function divided by each other so our formula is dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx 
over the v square right okay so here minus so when minus the order is very important so you have to follow the order so i'm going to teach you how to use a shortcut d-o-o-d so you just follow my way so that you don't have to always refer to the formula okay now you see ah. Huh? so let's say uh, we just uh, do like that dy dy ds we copy first is equal to okay what to copy uh okay we will copy like this follow the order we have two function right okay we copy here remember minus follow the order then so that we won't mess up the formula like this always always v square always so you can prepare the v square first so i'm going to teach you okay which one you need to differentiate first okay now you label um our formula is d o o d right d o o d so uh our, our formula for this is v d u d x right v d u d x okay don't confuse again i label to you this is u this is v so our formula dy dx is v du dx minus u dv dx over v square so where is our v okay so we differentiate this thing all right so this one d this one o differentiate the u then minus all right this one you don't differentiate now you differentiate the v okay this one is o differentiate this one so still d o o d right okay so remember the d o o d very useful so now you can just differentiate carefully differentiate to x you get two okay this one you just copy because you no need to differentiate all right okay minus don't change your sign 2x still there you differentiate 3x plus 5 you get 3 right okay and then over 3x plus 5 square right now you simplify to the simplest form so your dy dx is okay now we expand 6x 2 times 3 6x 2 times 5 is what 10 minus okay 2x times 3 6x over okay the denominator is 3x plus 5 square right so you can cancel out which one you can cancel out 6x right okay let's cancel out 6x all right so this one can be cancelled out so finally the answer is as simpler as this so this is your dy dx 10 over 3x plus 5 square all right so this is so called product a quotient rule quotient quotient q u o t i e n t and then we use the d o o d it just said v minus o and then over the v square all right okay can follow you need to practice more so that the skill is with you right so let's proceed to the next one okay now we can do fast for this one quotient all right so what i teach you just now let's use a step that i teach you okay so let's do it together you can use a piece of paper and do so i'm going to write like this dy dx i'm going to copy 3x square okay 5x plus 2 i'm going to write minus then this one is 3x square then this one 5x plus 2 i copy uh, the same exactly you just have put a minus copy twice okay then v square okay write the v square first this is your u this is your v all right so now let's see how to do so dy dx is equal to okay now we need to use a dood d is differentiate right this one d this one o don't do this one is o don't do and then we will differentiate this okay 6x 
differentiate three x squared six x. This one you copy down. All right, minus you minus this one you copy, and then you differentiate five x plus two you get five, and over the five x plus two squared. Right? Okay. So finally, your answer is like this. Okay. Let's simplify. Six times five thirty. X times x squared. Six times two twelve x. Minus five times three fifteen x squared. Right? And then over five x plus two squared. Right? So now I simplify further. So the answer is thirty and fifteen like term. Fifteen x squared plus twelve x. And then over over five x plus two square, right? All right. If you want to simplify further, I think we'll do. But sometimes we can factorize at least five x plus four over five x plus two square, right? Okay. So this is the final answer using the do quotient rule. Okay, understand? All right. Always double check because we uh, are very careless. Okay, again you differentiate three x squared at six x, right? Let's double check. Okay, before we got mistake, we double check. So I'm going to check this one. Differentiate this one. I got six x. So this one I don't. I copy. Okay, this one I don't do. I copy. Then I differentiate five x. Plus two, I get five. Correct. Okay, and then over the v square, right? I did put square, and then I do expansion. Okay, double check the expansion. Your sometimes the expansion give us problem. So six times five, right? Six times five is thirty x square. Okay, six times two twelve x. And here is three x square times five fifteen is a minus, right? Don't forget the minus. So finally, thirty minus fifteen, fifteen x square. All right, looks like everything okay. So yeah, that's the final answer. Good. Okay, now you have no quotient rule, right? You must keep on practice. Okay, don't forget. All right. Okay, how about this one? This is what product rule, right? Let's do it together. We do fast now. Can do fast if you are good. So now I'm going to differentiate this one. They didn't give y, just differentiate. So we just copy four x square. So you don't have to write dy dx. In fact, okay, just do d o o d. Okay, this one five x plus two four right, and put a plus. Right. Okay. Now you just. Four x square. Then this one you just copy. Five x plus two power four. Now let's use a red pen. Let's label do do d dx d. This one don't do plus don't do d. Right. Okay. Now let's do it now. Do do do. Okay. Now we are going to do it carefully. So we differentiate, we get eight x, right? Two times four x, two minus one, and this one don't do. So we just copy down everything, okay? Five x plus two power four, right? Don't change the power. It's a plus because it's multiply, and then this one you don't do. So you just copy down. Ha! Now you need to differentiate the chain rule. So what you need to do is you have to bring down the four times with the five x plus two power become four minus one three and don't forget the five. All right, five is very important. This five differentiate inside here. All right, now we just simplify. Okay, remember how to simplify? Okay, uh, we check we have power three. So I will write power three. Okay, this one is my common factor. Some more I have eight. I have 
4 here, 4 here, write 16. So I can write 8 times 2, right? Here I got 8, here I got x, x, so here I can write x, x. Okay, so the rest will be, okay, now I use another color, right, to differentiate the factor that I cannot actually factorize later so i'm going to write using the green color pen 5x plus 2 1 this is plus okay this x i can take out one only there is a 2 right 2 16 right 2 times 8 uh, that means 8 is a common factor x is a common factor 2 and then there's a 5 here right so whatever in the red color you can actually factorize right so i'm going to factorize the red one which is 8x then 5x plus 2 power 3 you use a color then you will notice that it's easier for you to factorize so the green color will be remain inside the bracket right so I have 5x plus 2 and then plus, remember there is a plus, alright, I have 2 and 5 which is 10x, right, 10x, 10x, right, okay, 8x, 5x plus 2, power 3 can factorize, okay, settle, now you can simplify to the simplest form like this, okay, it looks very beautiful, now you have 5 and 10 15x plus 2 right all right a double check will uh, will actually uh, give you perfect answer if you double check carefully because you see we have so complicated factorization all right so this is how you differentiate the product rule using the product rule but end up for product and quotient rule, we also use what rule? We use do. It's just that this one you multiply, become plus, and this one you divide, become minus. Right? Okay, remember, do. Alright, so this one is the same. Would you like to try? It's a product rule, right? So can do fast, right? Now let's do fast. So dy dx is equal to, alright, so we just write down 1 minus 2x. Then here is plus, then here is x, then here you give some space. Alright, so now we will label do d, I use a red pen, dx, this one is d, so this one don't do. This one don't do. This one you have to differentiate. D. Okay. Can do fast. Am I too fast? Alright. So dy dx is equal to. Okay. You differentiate x. You get 1. This thing you just copy. Right. And then you plus. This one you don't differentiate. So you just copy. Then you differentiate this one using chain rule. See, we always use a chain rule. That means chain rule is very important. Say, so bring down the 6, right? Copy the rectangle, right? Power reduced by 1. Then don't forget, differentiate the bracket negative 2. Okay, so finally, we can factorize. Use a color. Let's use a color. Okay, I'm going to factorize like this. I have power 5, right? So, I write 1 minus 2x power 5 1 minus 2x power 5 okay that's all all right so the rest i will use a green color which are a balance i have 1 minus 2x same ba base right so this one if you multiply you get back this right multiply this and get back this so plus i will have to have this one negative 2 negative 2 and 6 negative 12 x okay negative 12 x right 
Alright, is it clear? So now I can take out the blue one I can take out the blue one Then the remainder will be the The remainder in the bracket will be the green one Understand? Because this thing is going to divide By the whatever you factorize out So let's write in green color So if you use a green color uh, Then you will You will actually uh, know how to differentiate between the factor and this is blue color it's a common factor right so whatever live inside in the bracket is actually not the common factor left behind so you have uh, okay I'm going to write in green 1 minus 2x plus this is negative 12x minus 12x right that's all 1 minus 2x minus 12x so finally your answer will be 1 minus 2x power 5 and 1 minus 14x right so this is the answer for the product rule okay clear let's double check okay we need to be careful because it involves algebra which is complicated so we differentiate okay we get 1 and then this thing we ne never differentiate plus the that and then the x we never differentiate then we differentiate using the chain rule 6 and then we copy then power reduced by 1 and most important we didn't forget about negative 2 right all right so now we just focus on simplification so this one we factorize it's power 6 right but i want to factor out uh, 1 minus 2 x power 5 so that's how I do I find out the common factor I put aside so the remaining is inside the green color is inside the rectangle bracket this is negative 12 x okay negative 12 x huh? alright so finally you just simplify the rectangle bracket so the answer is 1 minus 2 x power 5 and then 1 minus 14 x is the final and beautiful answer all right so is you can write like this okay higher power is okay if you write like this same both accepted simplest answer right okay so i'm sure you will practice a lot it looks like very simple right okay another question this is actually quotient rule, right? So, if you are asking to solve the question like this, I tell you, you don't see this. Don't see first. You do from here. Right? So, I'm going to uh, use a quotient rule because it's divide, right? So, let's do it now. After that, we will find the K and N. So, how to do? So, uh, your U will use do to let's do it okay we copy right i teach you how to do just copy uh copy uv uv minus copy in order follow the order don't change the question over what v square right okay good okay now see ah huh? now we, we need to label the, the do the do how to label the do okay which one you need to do so do this d this one o don't do this one o don't do this one do all right so it's like that so now let's do so dy dx okay you differentiate this thing you get two right this one you don't do you copy minus this one you don't do you copy then this one you do you get differentiate x you get one differentiate five you get zero one plus zero so you get one don't forget to over the v square right okay finally let's see dy dx is equal to 2x plus 10 minus be careful minus 2x minus and minus become positive 3 alright positive 3 right minus 2x 
minus 3 right okay all right clear let's double check this one you uh, differentiate you get one right differentiate x plus 5 okay so 2x minus 3 so right all right so don't forget to over the v square right so now dy dx is equal to oh wow these two can be cancelled out right let's cancel out okay so let's see which one can be cancelled out this one can be cancelled out this thing can be cancelled out left 13 right 13 okay over x plus 5 square square right so then we go to the question then only we do, we do comparison find the value of k and n k and n are constant so let's write like this is equal to k over x plus 5 and right this is what the question gave you after you differentiate you get the answer in this form so what you need to do is you just do comparison so we highlight k is what k is 13 okay then what is n n is 2 follow the position exactly the position no negative okay because you are actually do follow the position so k is 13 n is 2 that's how you solve it all right so normally student please don't do from here no this is the answer given so you do from here then only you got the answer you do comparison to find your constant all right understand okay differentiate using do d o o d remember d o o d means what means what check okay check from your dictionary it's not a, it's not a good a nice word but it sounds like very tedious right yeah it's very complicated isn't it we are doing d o o d uh differentiation involving quotient is very complicated but we can get an answer so do is good all right so uh, i hope you can understand so here are a few questions you may try so i leave it for you to try this one okay differentiate this try on your own okay so this one involving product rule multiply okay so you try to do and then uh, we will discuss more uh, question on application after you master all the skills so now you have master all the skill of differentiation from power rule from chain rule from product rule and quotient rule then only you can apply for maximum minimum that i will discuss in my next uh, lesson maximum minimum you have to do dy dx make it zero dy dx equal to zero application actually depends on your dy dx skill if your dy dx skill is good you got no problem so you just make, do dy dx and equal to zero then you find the x and y so that's called application and it will we will apply it in finding turning point minimum point maximum point question like this and also we will apply to uh, turning point when dy dx equal to zero all right and then there are so many application okay this is turning point i will discuss next lesson and this one is about the minimum point maximum point i will discuss next lesson and this one is also about minimum point and this one is about the small changes yes another application minimum point maximum point turning point one application small changes is another application we have how many application okay this is what approximate change okay this second second type approximation this one is approximation also okay so i will discuss all the application in next video lesson this one also appro approximation and we also have beside approximation we also got the all these are approximation we got rate of change right okay uh, we have rate of change 
and also we have the um the last one is tangent normal equation of tangent and normal all right so there are four actually four application we okay so for next video lesson i will discuss the small changes maybe the rate of change and maybe i will discuss equation of tangent and normal so i'm sure if you follow my video lesson you will have a clearer picture why differentiation is so tough and so complicated but if you practice from now i'm sure you can do well in spm exam all right so that's all my sharing for today uh, till then i shall see you in my next video lesson bye bye and have a nice day so that's all my sharing for today's uh, differentiation class i will share more uh, skills with you uh, if i free till then i shall see you in my next video lesson bye bye and have a nice day